Ahoy, my friends, Ryder here, and welcome back to another Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis video. Today, the patch updates have dropped into the game. Honestly, I thought it was going to be kind of like a mellower week just after the whole anniversary, which was a lot going on. I mean, we, we know that uh, Shiva and Romu are dropping today, but I was not expecting to be getting all the different things that we are actually getting today. So that being said, guys, I'm going to be jumping into the notices and just slowly going through everything one thing at a time. So it is kind of a bit of a heavy week, but honestly, I think it's going to be pretty cool. There's some really cool things here to be checking out. All right, so that being said, I'm just going to go back and just start recounting from, I think, basically, let's see, from October 2nd. Now, I do want to make a special mention here that I had some people asking if Cloud and Yuffie's costumes got nerfed. That is not the case. Essentially, when Applebot, you know, released these costumes, it's supposed to add 10% when your physical command stance gauge is full. However, the way that the costumes have been working since they released is that it gives you the 10% bonus, whether the command stance gauge is full or not. So... All they did was change the writing on the costume to match what it's been. So actually those costumes are stronger than they were originally intended. So actually it's a pretty cool thing. All right, that being said, uh, let's start going into the first thing today. Issues regarding certain gear abilities. Um, okay, so this was actually exactly what I just talked about, guys. So right here it says, before revision... Attack stance command gauge max physical ability damage plus 10%. Now it just says a physical ability damage plus 10%. So they are better, both Cloud and Yuffie's. Now moving on to probably one of the most exciting things is the double summon campaign with Shiva and Ramu. Now I'm super curious if the EX2 for this is out. I bet it's going to be pretty hard. I bet people are going to be running Barret in his little... uh shark gun thing can't remember what it's called i want to say sharknado but i i feel like that's not it. shark slayer <laughs> all right so let's see here uh double summon login bonus login for eight days to get a total of blue crystal times 1500 down for that um and basically that's it oh this is just the campaign all right it looks like we'll also get 70 draw tickets as well we have the new event pumpkin fest attack of the dark army general on now all right and it looks like there will be a couple new event weapons. We have the Looney Lantern and the Orange Macaron, uh, along with... Oh no, these are actual items that we get in the event. The event weapon is the Tifa exclusive weapon, Black Cat's Paws, all right, which is going to give an AoE Thunder attack and boost magic attack, and I'm guessing in the secondary R ability, it'll be Lightning Potency. That'll be pretty fun. Now we have the new boss information right here. Actually, looks pretty cool. Recommended element, lightning. Recommended sigil, circle. Recommended attack type, magic. So for all of you guys who built the Kirin gloves out there, now that thing is going to really come in handy. I, I can't quite remember what the sigil break on that is, but lightning magic, I mean, Tifa is going to be shining right now. It is going to be a bonus event, unfortunately for myself, because definitely not going to be pulling on this stuff right now, especially maybe with a crossover on the few, on the horizon here. Um, but it does look like the Vincent in Kate Sith new weapon feature draws on now. There's some cool stuff there. We will be checking it out today. Uh, but it does look like that's going to basically cap it for the info on the event. There is a double summon arrival draw on now um, for basically trying to pull one of these weapons that is going to be usable in the current uh, Shiva and Ramu fight. I never really go for these. I feel like you want something in particular. You don't just like want to pull a ribbon out of a hat and just like hope it's the thing you need to take it down. That's just like not not the kind of life I'm trying to live right now with Ever Crisis. So for me, the RNG just like total pass for me on this. Um, but if you guys are going to pull on it, I just I wish you guys the best of luck. In this draw, with every 10 draw, you get a lottery box, double summon arrival, five star weapon in Mako Gem HP Shout times 5 as a bonus. Interesting. Do you get to choose the 5 star weapon is the question. It says it's a lottery box. So the fact that it's a lottery box, I mean, for me is like just not going to do it. But it is what it is. It, it's better than the previous ones. 
Um, lottery box double summon five star weapon features one guaranteed five star weapon with a water fire resist down or buff debuff command ability. Interesting. All right, so we have Tempest, Shark Slayer, Slay the Day, Mithril Rod, and Twinkling Star in there. All right, so that's pretty interesting. Now, moving on to the Vincent and Kate Sith new weapon feature draw. I honestly did not think that we were going to get a banner this week, guys. I, I did not think we were going to get a banner. And it does look like Kate Sith's ultimate weapon is featured again. And hopefully we can get Mako gems from this so that people that didn't get this weapon, you know, on Tifa's banner and are interested in getting it and are going to pull for this, this banner, you know, they have a chance of picking it up, which is pretty cool. I feel like they're being a little more lenient with the stuff that they're allowing recently in the game, which I think is honestly a good and healthy sign for a mobile game. All right, so let's take a look at the weapons, all right? So Vincent got a new one. It's called Crow Familiar, Shadow Swoop, 4 ATB cost. Inflicts up to 940% lightning magic damage upon a single enemy. Damage is increased by 1.2 when the caster has a buff, plus the caster's limit gauge is increased by up to 5%. Then we have Witch's Broom over here, which is a Kate Sith weapon. Tumbling Tackle inflicts up to 420% non-elemental physical damage upon a single enemy with ATB 3 and reduces the target's magic defense. Doesn't, doesn't say drastic. Plus, drastically reduces lightning resistance when the caster's HP is 50% or more. Honestly, I'm not really the biggest fan of the imperils that have the HP threshold on them. I just feel like there's better stuff out there. But but it is nice to have something for Kate Sith. For all you Kate Sith fans out there, it'll be nice to pick something up. Now we have two new costumes as well. We have the Crow Master suit for Vincent. Kind of looks a little funny there with his big beak. So the first our ability is called Eerie Mask, which boosts HP and magic defense. So super good. And then a Lightning Arcanum right? It's kind of crazy. I feel like I haven't talked about elemental arcanums in forever, so it's kind of interesting to see a new one. Then we have the pumpkin jacket here for Kate Sith. Uh, also, same R ability, Eerie Mask, boosts HP and magic defense. It also gives him buff debuff extension plus, which is basically the arcanum for buff debuff extension. So super solid for Kate Sith. I think he does a lot of buffing, so it is an overall good costume. Um, but I think for the DPS run, still the critical one is the best. And then we have some reawakened gear here. So it does look like there's the opportunity to get some of the old Halloween costumes, right? So we have Zack's Black Hound, which is currently being updated, which I am super down for because I already have this costume. So I will take a better version of it any day of the week. Then we have the Pumpkin Mare, which is also updated. So for all of you guys that have that one for Glenn, congratulations. It just got better. The ultimate weapon here for Kate Sith. We've all seen it. HP Shout. This thing is freaking badass straight up. It's just a fantastic ultimate weapon. I wish that I wish that it was on a character other than Kate Sith since I so rarely use him. Um, but yeah, that's going to basically uh, cover that. We are getting two new wallpapers. Like, thankfully, they're still in the game. Um, all right. So Vincent actually looks really cool. And so does Kate Sith. So... Honestly, I would be down for both of those. All right, so let's take a look at the actual summon update right here. Shiva and Ramu have arrived. I'm super curious to see how tough these are going to be. Um, all right, clear the tribe with summons and get summon weapons for Kate Sith Vincent now. Okay, so Kate Sith and Vincent are the ones for the uh, summon weapons right here. I'm curious how good these are going to be and what kind of defenses they're going to give. So that might be something to check out here in a little bit. All right, guys, so that's going to basically cap the news. I don't think that there is a new shop unless I'm missing something. Sometimes when my game updates, it doesn't update the shop for some reason. I'll know if the new banner is not here and it's not here. All right, so just give me a second, guys, and I'm just going to reboot my game really quick. All right, guys, so here I am back in the game after rebooting it. This game has just had freaking always issues with loading in it still does that sound glitch thing where it shows the new banners and then you just like lose all the sound in the game i really hope they fix that all right so here is the new shop here guys it does look like you know honestly most of these most of these are pretty much the same but i like to look at them sometimes there's new stuff i feel like these are 
pretty good, but the 2K red crystal ones are the best if you guys are really picky with those. Looks like we have a Vincent pack with a five-star ticket and 10 of his weapons or one of those 10 draw tickets, along with the same thing for Kate Sith. Honestly, I've been picking these up less and less and less throughout the game just because as you're playing longer and longer and longer, you don't you start to need more specific things. And so it becomes like just a shot in the dark to try and get a ticket or something like that. They can come in handy depending on which character you have and which weapons you have for them. But for me at this point, I feel like I don't pick up the tickets anymore. These I think are more valuable, the 3k paid packs, because you also get the character specific weapon parts, which let's be real, when you come to like crossovers, collaborations, anniversaries, these are like the bread and butter of building weapons off banners. So it's important to save those. Um, so I think that if you have the extra 3,000 red crystals, they're basically always worth it, depending on the character you're going for. And then other than that, we have our just standard packs. Of course, Vincent and Kate Sith are featured right here. They each get 100 memories right there. Uh, but I'm going to be passing on those. Now, that being said, let's go in and take a look at the summons really quick, just to see if there is an EX2. And I want to take a look at quick look at the weapons that you can get for them. All right, so there it is. There is the Shiva and Ramu double summon right there. All right, so here it is. It does go up to EX2. All right, that's pretty cool. And then the weapons themselves, all right, are gonna, this one's gonna boost fire resist and HP. All right, it's also a ice in peril and a thunder in peril in one. All right, so that's not bad at all. And then we have Vincent's right here. His is going to boost water resistance and HP and also be an ice resistance slash thunder or ice slash thunder in peril as well. So that is pretty dang cool. I will be putting out guides uh, for probably EX1 and EX2 here in the next couple days once I get the time to really take a look at this fight and what it's going to take to actually beat it. All right. That being said, let's jump over to the actual uh featured thing right here let's do a let's do my pull for the day let's see if i get any good luck right here honestly guys like i wish i could pull for this banner for vincent because magic lightning is one of my weaker areas like i would say that my strongest magic lightning weapon is tifa's kieran gloves but they're only at ob1 right so they're kind of held back and i'm not about to go i'm not chasing from ob1 to ob6 with parts that's just a fool's game in my opinion so they're just going to be stuck like that forever. So at some point, I will have to pick up a new Lightning Magic character, but we'll just have to see. So let's take a look at the banner right here. All right. I want to see the um, the animations right here. So there's Vincent's. Actually pretty sick. Let's see Kate Sid's. His are like almost always the same. Oh, that one's actually pretty sick. I like that actually a lot. All right. Now let's look at the uh, costumes really quick here, guys. All right, there's Kate Sith's, pretty cool. And then we have, looks like Kate Sith was first. There's Vincent's. Honestly, Vincent's looks pretty damn sick. I think it's cool, except for the freaking, the, the pointy crow thing. Like, I feel like if they would have just done like a like a flat mask, it would have looked cooler. I do like the red on black though. It does look pr pretty freaking cool, guys. It, let's be real. All right, now if we go look at the weapons, I'm just going to take a quick glance at them just to see what we got here. All right, so at OB10, Magic Attack 31, Lightning Potency 39. Uh, pretty standard, I would say. Also, when buff is granted to self, 1.2 times damage. All right, that's not quite as good as when the debuff is granted. But it's still pretty solid overall. We've got Triangle Sigil Boost right there. Now let's take a look at Kate Sith's weapon right here. All right, so at OB10, we have magic defense only breaks to mid. All right, so that's helpful. But if you're actually trying to break magic defense, we're not breaking to mid, right? We're going to break to high every single time. And then on top of that, the main thing that this weapon does is a thunder in peril, but it's locked behind a 50% threshold. I feel like Kate Sith just like doesn't always get the best roll of the dice, does he? Now... For the R abilities, really freaking good. 62 attack over 39 lightning potency is absolutely freaking solid. 
it's just a bummer that the weapon is not quite up to par, I would say, just at first glance. But uh, yeah, guys, I think that's going to conclude the video for today. I just wanted to take a quick look at everything, give you guys a rundown of basically what's dropped into the game. I will be doing a to pull or not to pull video for this new banner, trying to take a look at it from different perspectives and try to figure out who should pull, if any, on this banner right here and now, especially because we don't know currently if Young and Jill is going to be dropping exactly one week from today. All right, so that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, please don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis content. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.